master Adobe Photoshop, somebody needs to master the selection on this software. Adobe Photoshop does not help us in drawing something, but it is a fantastic software to render patterns inside already existing designs. You can create prints, you can create textures, you can create stripes, you can create embroideries on Photoshop. And then you can also have your line drawings and you can fill those things inside it. So today we are going to learn different tools that Photoshop has so that whenever we are rendering our patterns, those patterns are only seen the whole image now even so to actually make one so I have selected this and I'm trying to do paste into it is not activated because this layer on which the selection is there is off I have to be on the layer which is active then only this selection will have
Now we have this magic wand. You click on any color. It is going to it's going to select that color depending on the tolerance that you have given. So let's say I have a tolerance of 10 and then I click here. So obviously the the whole tolerance of colors is so low that it's going Let's say I want to also select the strap but every time I'm selecting the strap just because this color is connected to this even the lower panel is getting selected which is I don't want. So what I'm going to do is again go to go to lasso tool it is already on the on the minus side of the lasso tool so just press this. So all these external now this large area just click here here and just take this out. So now we have our top nicely selected. Now you do. So if you see the size of the print is too much. So what we can do again is edit, transform, scale, or just say control T and you'll get this. So you can actually, you can also do is rotate it according to your own wish so if you just go outside if you are inside the box it will show an arrow head if you go outside it will show a bent arrow two arrows which means that you can actually bend this now you copy the same 
tiger by saying go to that image layer here control a c and now you go back to the background layer use your magic wand tool select the inner layer make sure that you are using the add-on magic wand tool yes now we have got something outside so just go here so yes so most of most of it is being done now I think the whole both the when I'm when I'm pressing magic wand here it is selecting the whole whole top dress so what we need to do is go here just take this whole measurement out because this is something that we have already filled now we only require this now what you do control alt shift V so what has happened is you want let's say you want a mirror image of this so to get a mirror image you go to edit transform flip horizontal so now you have two mirror images of that tiger pattern and this is how your dress is going to look like let's say we want to again fill something just use your magic wand what you can do is let's say I increase the tolerance to 50 and then I click see how bigger area is it is selecting now so this is not going to work for me let me go back to 35 and now let me select this oh this is all gone outside so all I need to do is go to my polygon lasso tool control uh, just press alt and just try to get rid of this extra selection that I don't want now I have got one selection here so if I look closely I need to clean this up so just clean this up yeah so this is pretty much what we wanted and then you put your tiger inside now this is your tiger you can actually rotate it so you have created a fully tribal dress which was in the beginning just a plain white dress so this is the magic of selection and pasting into that we did in the last chapter which is paste special paste into.